Not all the judges' comments are appreciated <laughs> on Dancing on Ice, but one man does seem to talk an awful lot of sense. You're being pushed and you've been given one of the most difficult jump combinations that we're going to see tonight, but it didn't quite work. The step sequence was very difficult, but it didn't quite work. You did a really good spin, but the end didn't work. It's just finishing off the finite detail that will put you as a contender. The word serenity is written down in, in my notes. It just had a really natural calmness about it. If you were feeling that nerves and the tension, it wasn't necessarily showing out front until we got to the spin. The steps lost it a little bit for me because there weren't that many steps in there. Great upper body, great movement, great control, great everything else, but needed a bit more with the footwork. Spin was solid and the jump were very nice. You see, he's fair. Head judge Robin Cousins joins us now. Good to see you, Robin. Thank you. I mean, I think what people really love about your comments is we know you've been there, you've mm -hmm. done it, you've skated there, you skated, you know, and beat everyone. So I think <laughs> it gives it so much validity. It does, although I think part of what I've had to do and what I've learned over the five years is to be able to give the detail about mm -hmm. the skating, what the blades can do but in a way that makes it work for people who have no idea about skating. Talk, if oh. I was talking to a skater, I would explain it completely differently. Okay. But you can bog people down with details. But the most important thing for me as a person, I want to speak to people the way I would expect to be spoken to myself. Oh. So I would like to think that I am telling them in the nicest way, even if it's bad news, the way that I would like to get it. And yeah. then obviously in sound bites, because yeah. we want to keep it short and concise. Well, it works, it works. What do you think of this series? Because it's been, you know, pretty lively. I think, Loved it. I think it's great. I love the change of venue. I think that the, the changes and the mix up within the way that the producers have, have repackaged it mm. really works because the core of the show is still the same with some judges, with Jane and Chris, with competitors who are really, this year, very competitive in trying to make the skating work. And I think it's obviously, from the viewer's point of view, working very well for them at home too. Who do you think is shining? Well, should, should we go through your favourites? I know you'll probably Ooh, not have favourites. Well, it's not but a question of having a favourite. Yes, we can't, we been, can't say that. People well, you them. can have favourites. I think this, you know, I've had favourites in the past and there are people that you, that you like in terms of their personalities and the way they perform on the ice. Mm. But I think this year, you know, for me, you've got the two girls, you've got Laura and Chloe, mm. but then, you know, you've got three possibly boys at the, at the top there with Sam and uh, there's Chloe. Yeah. Who yeah. I think for me, as somebody who doesn't come from a dance background, doesn't no. come from a stage school background doesn't come from any background at all in terms of but what she's got is a drive and a passion to want to learn the craft of skating so that's really helped her week by week grow and of course the audiences I mean, at home have, have as, grown and to Laura's, that as well. Laura's a friend of mine and so yeah. I can I'm allowed to be biased because I'm so proud of her I think she's been astonishing because she's never skated before and, and people didn't really know who she was and she just shines doesn't she? she? Again somebody uh, Laura is incredibly competitive and again wants to know the detail of everything she's not um, and I think what I like about all the top five we have, it's not a question of just doing what they're told. They want to know why they're doing it really and how they can good. make it better. And yeah. you do want to be good. And I think if that's what you are like in your day job, that's what you will bring to a show like this. You know, you want to have the same. Sam has a natural gift and there's something about him that, you know, commands your attention. I've likened him to Ray Quinn. Yeah. I don't think he has the, the detailed finish that Ray had, but that I'm hoping will come in the next sort of four or five weeks. Vanilla. Great fun as well. You yeah, know, again, huge not a great technician, but mm. a wonderful entertainer. And again, he's committing to doing what he said he wouldn't do at the beginning. He said, oh, I can't change who I am. Yeah. But he's now adapting and working that way. Yeah. And I think for me, the dark horse will always be Jeff. Really? Mm. Do you still think he's got a shot at it? I don't know if it, well, I would like to think he had a shot of it because I look at his skating and his core basic ability and, and the cleanness of his lines and what he does with the blades really works in a way that the others don't have yet, but he doesn't quite have that passionate power and it's not that visible to the audiences at home. He's a nice cheeky chappy, I mean... He's very likeable bloke. Skate off last yeah. week, he was so much better and, and really pulled it off. Yeah, good for him. Mm. Well, you know, that's the skating, which yeah. is only half of it, frankly. Of course. <laughs> it's all the performance, and it's you judges. Yes. I mean, uh, Karen and Jason mm -hmm. had a big spat a couple of weeks ago. It felt a bit personal. It felt very real. It felt a bit... Definitely real. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's been the same with all of us from Series 1. I mean, Jason, it's the panto... Uh, villain and he plays that role very well she within the show really but upset, though, Robin, you know and, and he sort of was suggesting that 
she was a bit rubbish when she was a judge and it was all quite... No, Karen has always been a defender more than a prosecutor when it comes to the skaters and okay. the skating. We are there on a weekly basis for that one day to judge their one and a half minutes. We have no concern, don't care about what their week has been like, about their mm. life journey, don't care about it. How good was that performance there? Karen's with them on a daily basis. She's nurturing since October. So yeah. you cannot help but be emotionally connected on a fully committed basis. And that is a wonderful thing to have in your corner. But if you're trying to be objective, that is also something that can be quite difficult. And I think as a judge, she found that hard to separate. So I think she's probably found her place to be. Does Jason go too far, do you think? He'll put, he will push himself. And I, I've always said, I wish I could be a little bit more like him. Mm. I wish I could... I mean, I always said, Jason only says what most people are thinking. And he yeah. says it out loud. And possibly he will. And he will apologise and he'll catch, up, catch himself afterwards. But I think what I like about Jason is that he will always have a good, valid reason for saying what for he sure, said and will sure. back and it up. And it's great, and it's great entertainment. Listen, mm. you started skating at nine. I mean, Olympic golds and world championship wins and, and world records. 31 years ago last Monday. Years ago. <laughs> do, do you ever skate now? Oh, of course. I, as I say, I like to keep my feet wet. <laughs> get, just get the skates on, get out there and, and play. And if I'm choreographing or teaching, and I'm, a, a lot of people on Twitter, get, get yourself on dancing and ice. Do you know, Robin, we but could chat we all see. day. Mm. We'll see you on Sunday, though. Yes, you we shall. We'll be there. Now, but, yeah, absolutely. All right, Great. take care. Thank you. Uh, that's